Hi guys, this is Shweta here and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing for you guys the newly launched Maybelline V-Face product range that has just come out in the market. These products are available in Nykaa right now. I have seen that they have just like come out yesterday and I got my hands on these products just before like few days because I got it from Amazon and I'll link down all the links below for you guys to check out in case you want to check it out and purchase it. There are three products in this range. One is a uh, like a contour stick, one is a powder and one is a blush. I got my hands only two of the products and the three because I'm not a big blush fan and I thought I don't need a blush right now. Uh, blushes are like very limited usage for me at least so I did not get my hands on the blush. I just got my hands on the uh, two other products and I'll tell you guys all about it. This is the new Maybelline range and this is essentially their launch in the Indian market when it comes to contouring and highlighting. So that which is a yay because contouring and highlighting is really not in right now in the Indian art market in terms of the products because the products we don't really have Indian brands coming out with uh, contour products yes we do have makeup revolution and makeup academy and freedom palettes but they are not essentially Indian brands or Indian products brought for the Indian market they're just products which have been imported here it was always that if I wanted a contour palette uh, made in India it's so difficult to find out especially a good quality branded one so uh, I'm very happy I was really happy that Maybelline came out with this now, Coming back to the products, I'll be showing you guys the packaging and how it is. Like first the duo stick, like there's a reason I did not throw away the packaging after opening it. It's because everything about the product is written on this plastic. Like everything from its price to how to apply to everything. So I'm not throwing out but I'll show you guys how it looks without the plastic and uh, what I've thought about it. So this is how the product looks like, if you guys can see. This is how the product looks like. Uh, now this is a duo stick and this retails and the second one is the Maybelline uh, V Face powder. Like this is also a duo powder. All the ranges are like duo. So telling you about the shades that are available in this range, there are only like two shades available in each of the products. One is like a beige and one is called brown. Now beige is like light to medium skin tones and brown is for medium to dark skin tones. I picked up uh, the contour stick in medium to brown, like medium to dusky or skin tones. This is the brown shade. And for this I picked up the uh, fair to medium, that's the beige shade. Uh, I just thought I'll experiment with two different shades because there was an issue with delivering this medium to brown. I had actually ordered a medium to brown but there was an issue in delivering and anyways whatever happened I am happy with what I got because I wanted to review for you guys as soon as possible. This product here retails for 500 rupees and this product retails for 650 rupees. So together here we have like around 1150 rupees worth products just the two of them I guess the blush also cost around 500 or something like that but I wasn't very keen about using a blush because I think blushes are very like limited utility for me I just have like two blushes and I'm happy with them I don't need like a big blush thing I'm not a very big blush fan first coming to the stick uh, when I first saw this product I wasn't expecting much from this I just thought this was a very um, what do you say a very repetitive product because these kind of sticks I have seen before not in the Indian market but yeah in terms of the innovation for the Indian market there isn't anything it's just something that we have seen a lot of times abroad but I was still like okay I can try this out now this duo stick has two different shades for two different purposes one shade at one side is this this is a highlighting shade uh, you can check this out here this is a highlighting shade and it has got shimmer in it if you can see it kind of glitters a bit not too much and it seems pretty light for my skin tone which is good because it will go great for highlighting the next part is for contouring and this is how it looks and it has got it's a brown shade but it has got this yellow undertone which is good because I am generally a yellow undertone girl but I'm not sure how this shade was, will look as a contour shade on me because this is not really that dark um, I would have preferred it to be much more darker than uh, this is. This is more like, I just feel this is more like a concealer color. But I don't know how will it come out. I'll check it out and sometime we'll check out how it looks on my skin. But overall I thought it could be a little darker because this is for the darker skin tones. And I don't think this will work too much for like really dusky skin tones. It will not turn out to be very very like, not very con good contour shade. It will be really subtle. Next thing we are going to see is the powder. I open up the powder and this is how the packaging looks like. Uh, 
it has a V shape here and there are two shades which are said to be for contouring this and this one this is like the brown the darker shade is for contouring this is just a powder now there are little uh, questions about the application because it's really difficult to apply from this but it has been written how to use uh, on the behind and they, there are instructions given so I'll follow them up when I use this uh, it has a mirror here so it has a nice mirror and it also has a brush which is a very nice egg okay I can use this so the packaging is very similar to the L'Oreal matte Mushik uh, compact powder which I was like okay fine I don't mind the packaging let's check out how it is in terms of the video guys we are going to start up using these products and see how it looks on my face so first day I will be using the contour stick I have a little uh, BB cream on my face as well as a little setting powder because it was really oily so I could not contain it so I just anyways put a little bit I will be first using it the contouring shade which is this one a very yellow undertone uh, let's see how it comes up on my face the best part about these things are like really for like very easy to uh, apply so let's see how it is okay this is like really light I can't essentially see this shade as a very good contour shade but let's just see how it comes out put the whole contouring thing on my face and I'll be just blending it so let so I've just put all the contouring up places like let's see how it is while blending I'm just a little worried because it's too light for a contour um, I'm not sure how, how it will come out but let's just check it out Okay, so I'm done with my contouring and as you can see it's like a really um, surprisingly it does contour my face but I'm just a little worried about the yellow tinge in it because it's kind of really prominent but I don't know is it because of my skin tone or what but overall it's a very subtle contouring not too dark not not too like bright and uh, you know awkward so it's just very subtle contouring like you can see there is a lot of contouring done and the contouring is really subtle there is a tinge that's going on which is good I'm just going to see how it is it's surprisingly very subtle and uh, does matches like it's not that totally invisible thing so let's see now I'm going to use the highlight now I'm going to use this as a highlighting the highlighting shade part and see how it is as well so let's just check it out highlighted this part with the highlighter and as you can see it is pretty subtle as well let's just see how it comes out after blending with the highlighting you can see that the highlighting and the contouring is like really subtle great part about this product it's really easy to use kind of glides on your skin uh, not very creamy not very dry it's just perfect but I would uh, I would advise you to uh, you guys to actually use a moisturizer before you're using these things but overall happy with how the contour and highlighting just like took place it's just very subtle on my skin if you can see on the camera pretty subtle and I'm kind of happy because this is a uh, very good for regular use so I'm kind of happy very easy to apply just need a brush with this and you're good, good to go you can even carry this on your uh, bag so it's really good to be using this product or uh, the powder and I'll be using just as the way it is uh, instructed so um, let's see how it works out I'm going to use this brush as well because I don't think my brush will actually fit into this whole thing let's see how it works out first it's written that uh, I'm first it's written that I'll have to mix both the colors and then use it on the whole face after which I'll have to use this as like a highlighter powder and this as a contour powder let's see how it works out I don't think this is like a highlighter powder because it's pretty like matching to my skin tone but let's see how it works out so I'm going to first mix up both the colors it's pretty powdery like texture wise use it on the whole face 
the Fit Me setting, it's just very, very powdery. There's a reason I'm not using a brush, my own brush with this, because I want to actually see how it is like changing my whole face. I don't want to actually know it from my own brush. Let's just see whether this brush makes any difference in terms of the whole um, thing. Let's just see how it is. I've used it as a whole setting powder. It looks pretty subtle. Next thing we're going to use is this highlight. This with the highlighting zone. We're going to highlight it with this lighter shade and see how it is. Take, it is kind of difficult to take it just this one. So anyways, I'm going to take this one. Not actually that effective in terms of highlighting because the shade is almost my skin tone. It's just not working as a highlighting shade. But anyways, let's see how it works out. It's just more like a setting powder here. Now next I'm going to use is, if you can see my face is pretty subtle, the highlighting is there but it's more for, from the stick than the powder. Next I'm going to do it, uh, do the contouring shade and do it on my jawline. Let's see how it works out. Not a very dark shade, very, 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 very subtle. This is how my face looks after the usage of both the products. You can see that the contour and the highlight is very, very subtle. Uh, it works as both a plus and minus points because plus point because sometimes you just don't want your highlight and contour to be like, oh, like a pack of crackers, you know, you just don't want to shine it. You just want it for regular use like for your office use or maybe a, like a formal party you want to contour but you don't want it to look so fake like you generally do when you're doing a lot of contouring and highlighting so this is great for that purpose but uh, in a negative part this doesn't actually belong to that category of contours and highlights uh, which actually make your face that glowy that uh, camera ready you know so there is this whole thing like it's kind of balanced for me i won't say this is a very bad product not a very very good product but for me it's a great way um, a great product to begin your contouring and highlighting with because this is super super subtle very good for your office uses daily uses you're going out uh, during the daytime when you want to contour and you don't want it to look so fake or don't want it to look like a box of crackers this is just the best thing and you guys can see that the contour is there it's not that it's not and surprisingly when I first used the product I was like no this contour is not coming out because the shade is just not right for me but surprisingly it worked and you can see that there is a contour and highlight but it's not really subtle it's just not too much that it's not too less too so I'm pretty happy with how the product came out and surprisingly I really liked it so I give a thumbs up to both the products. Coming individually, um, I loved the contour and the highlight shades. The highlight shade works really well. Very, very subtle highlighting. Best for your regular users. Great going. I will rate this product a 9 out of 10, which is a high rating. And I'm, I'm giving it not because the shades are really, really good for contour and highlight, but because these shades are just subtle and just perfect for your regular contouring and highlighting practices. So if you're looking for a contour and highlight stick which is going to like be a multifunctional uh, beauty product as well as easy to carry easy to use and very very efficient for your office users this is the product you need to get for your daily office wear in case you want to start contouring and highlighting your face on a daily basis this is the product and i'm very very happy that maybelline has come out with this this works out great as a setting powder like i'm not very happy with this as a highlighter Either they have given the use as wrong, like I don't see any point in uh, like highlighting the already highlighted part with this powder but it's great for setting, like it will set your highlight in a very nice way and give you a really nice natural glow which you can face, see on my face. But I'm really happy with the contour shade, it is very light, very subtle. I'm not going to say this is not a very, this is not alone a contouring thing. Like if you're looking for a contour palette and you feel, oh my god, just let, let me get this powder and I'm done with my contour. Uh, no, you're not because this product is super subtle and it is meant for a setting of your contour and not contouring on its whole. So if you want to contour your face, pick this and then pick this. Don't pick this alone, it will not help you. If you're picking this alone, it can. But picking this alone will not help you. This is great as a setting powder. And I love the fact that how the contour shade actually sets up your contour. Like it kind of gives it a very 
soft look which kind of works out for me at least so this is not the greatest product of all i would say but i really consider it as a revolutionary product in terms of setting up your contours because contours alone cannot sometimes work they kind of look very fake and um, it may look very made up so these kind of powders kind of help it set up and make your face look much more natural with the contours so i will be rating this around a 7 out of 10 So overall, if I am considering as a range, the both of the things, I will be rating it an eight out of ten. Again and again, I'm telling you guys one thing: these products are not for the contour and highlight pros, not for the people who already are doing contouring and highlighting a lot and think they can work this out. This is for people who are either beginners or people who want to do contouring and highlighting on a regular basis. So this will work great. Like I am going to use this product daily if I can. If I want to go to office uh, doing contouring and highlighting, this is the best thing to do. And I'm very happy with the products. I don't feel very cakey. The texture is very smooth and very very light, which is great because most of the products for contouring and highlighting make your face uh, face look really really heavy or make you feel very heavy. But these products are very very lightweight, so these are very helpful to make your face. Uh, look and feel very subtle at the same time so guys this was all it this was all that i had for my review i reviewed for you guys the new maybelline the newly launched maybelline b face range uh two products and i hope you guys really like this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe press the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and get no regular notifications about the videos that i post if you guys want to see anything any other look that you want to know about from these products that i can create uh, or you have any video request anything that you want to tell me or ask me put it down in the comment section below i and i am going to comment and i am going to reply to you guys so you guys are having a fabulous fabulous october and stay tuned for the diwali surprises ciao